Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with my colleague, Marit Framovich, a member of the Verification IP Development Team. I'm here to talk about her paper at CDN Live Silicon Valley entitled, Verifying Cache Coherent Designs, ACE and Interconnect Monitoring. So Marit, maybe just give a little bit more about your background, and we'll talk about the paper. Sure. Um, I'm working for Cadence in the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. In the focusing in verification, in the past few years, I'm with a VAP team uh, in charge of the worldwide AMBA and ACE via verification IP deployment. Terrific. Now, at a high level, you know, what is ACE and where is it used? ACE is a new spec that ARM published last year. It stands for XI Coherent Extension. It's mm -hmm. built on top of the old XI spec, right. uh, but add the coherency aspect. Uh, ARM came out with this spec in order to help customer achieve hardware coherency. The need for hardware coherency today in the market is because customers trying to achieve a better performance uh, and for that they're adding more and more processors. It's not just about the number, it's also the different type of processors like right. target specific uh, task specific like GPUs, graphic processor, etc. So the need to scale and adding mm -hmm. this heterogeneous type of processors is uh, become an important task in the market and ARM providing this new spec in order to achieve that. Indeed. Now, what's the number one thing people need to keep in mind when they start to verify an ACE design? So the first thing and the important thing is to ensure coherence in the system. We have many masters with different caches. We have the main memory. You want to ensure that the data between all these components is coherent. For that, customers would like to make sure they are compliant with the spec. The spec come to help you ensure coherency. Mm -hmm. So you want to ensure each of every uh, block in your system align with the spec. Makes sense. Now, how can UVM and, and methodologies like metric-driven verification, how can those approaches help tackle this problem? I must say that it seems like a must here. So there are so many different uh, aspects in the spec that Currently, you cannot achieve with doing directed tests. Think about the case where, let's talk about only two masters, okay? There are, there are two masters, each of them can send like 17, 18 time of transaction, each of them hold a cache that can be in five different states. Mm -hmm. They can respond, there are like, I don't know, different type of responses that they can send. Um, double all of that with the different number of masters, the scope, the coverage space is yeah. just huge. It's impossible to send directed tests to each one of them. You must use some kind of automation in order to achieve that. And UVM help you to do this type of layering sequences. A virtual sequence, for example, is very helpful in this kind of scenario when to, you want to coordinate different masters, mm -hmm. transaction, and the slave response, etc. Indeed. Now, how do metrics come into play? How do you involve, uh, you know, looking at code and functional coverage in such a uh, verification effort? So, one thing is to send transaction and ensure co uh, compliance to the spec, but then how do you know when you are done? How do you know that you can sign off your project and say, okay, everything is full covered? You need something that helps you to manage the coverage result. As I said, the coverage space is huge. So, just reviewing a list of coverage point and, and their a result is, is very hard for a human being. For that, we introduce a, the verification plan where we help, it's a tool that helps you manage your verification result. We provide some automatic sequences that map to this uh, verification plan, and then it's very easy for you to understand where you are, what next is missing, where you should go and focus on. Terrific. Well, Marie, thanks for elaborating, giving some extra insights to your paper. Thank you, Joe.